Hi, it's Rashida. Today I have a process video just to show you some embellishments that I use using some Create End Day products. So first off, I'm starting with the Potty Family Stencil and I'm going to use the Lady Icon and I'm going to tape it down on this 4x6 card and I'm going to uh, just use just some random washi tape that I had sitting on my desk and I'm going to use some modeling paste not modeling paste this is stucco paint sorry by Martha Stewart and I picked this up from TJ Maxx a while ago I'm gonna add some Hottie Swap color shine and Primrose some Mr. Huey's and Plum Thumb and I'm just gonna mix it all together and that's the color that I want to achieve just a light pink color and I'm gonna mix it and just lay it down on the stencil and um, with doing this you want to be really careful to stay within the stencil itself of the part that you're trying to um, cover so I did get a little bit on the side but it had nothing to do with the stencil that was just my error in placing the um, the paint down and you can do this with different uh, techniques you can do it with just regular paint you can just mist it it just depends on the texture that you want to achieve and I kinda wanted a raised look on this which is why I use that stucco paint so I'm going to take it off and you'll see the final product so there you go and next I'm going to use the Fab Alpha stamp and I'm going to just create a background on this 4x6 card and it's going to just be a repetitive um, background using the same phrase so it's going to say plum crazy and I'm going to stamp this a couple of times So these letters are really fun to use. You can um, just leave them plain, you can color them in, you can use your colored pencils, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to take a Copic marker and, well, a couple of Copic markers and color these in and you'll see that later okay and that's how that turned out and this is another Create Indie stamp and I'll link um, the Create Indie shopping website below so you can check these out I'll also link um, their blog below as well so now I'm going to uh, take this arrow stamp and I'm just going to stamp that a few times on the right side of this 4x6 card and I'm using just some pigment ink so if you have a plain card that you want to use in your project life and you just want to jazz it up or if you want to just create your own background um, these stamps are great for that Now 
I'm going to take the Foodie Review stamp set and this is part of a new release and I'm going to um, stamp this on a label sticker and so if you want to create some dimension with your stamps and you don't want to just stamp directly on your cards you can stamp on a label sticker like I did here and it will add just a little bit of dimension so now cork embellishments are just totally in right now so I'm going to take this stamp that says the best ever and you can fill it in with whatever you want to and I'm going to take my one and three fourth inch circle punch and punch this out and just create my own embellishment so you will see my finished project um, in a second so thank you for watching and be sure to check out create indies blog and the website so you can view the stamps that are available in the shop thank you for watching